My name is Sipa Eric Dibe and I was a poet involved with the event that happened right here at the Mac just last week, the Future Poets Festival. Why did I choose the challenge? Well, I had recently actually, just a couple of months back in February, I recently just rediscovered um, poetry, I guess, and I saw this advertisement and ideas to have for the Future Poets Festival. And it was just really interesting, and because uh, it, it was looking at the development of poetry and the different forms that it can be expressed. And I, when I, since I rediscovered it after years of just stopping, um, I just, I, I just felt I, it, it would really help to enhance what I already had, you know, the, the passion I had for it already. So a summary of what happened. Um, as I said, I applied through ideas tab and I therefore got through and they asked me to come in. Um, since then I had workshops with um, a poet who inspired me, Kim Trusty, and Amy Martin, who was the event manager. We, I just had some workshops on um, different styles of poetry and uh, different forms of, of expressing it. Um, uh, uh, just leading up to the actual event, we had workshops with other professionals. Um, there's a, a performance going on called Being Human. And the, we had an actor from the, the show, actually. Because the, the show was, it was actually a, a play, but the script was um, a collection of poems put together, and the actors would then perform those. So that, that's how it related to us. We also had Language Alive. They came. The Future Poets Festival went through our period from February until August. And actually, looking back now to how I've developed as a poet, not just a poet, but um, a performance poet as well, so I, I guess I, I've definitely learned about the different styles of poetry and the different ways that, that other people write. And I've learned through that that I have my, actually my own individual style that I p prefer, that's, that I'm most comfortable with. Um, and that's just me writing. I've also learned that not all my po poetry has to be performed, actually. Since then, it, I've, I've learned to be more precious of my writing, actually. So that's meant that I, I can now write things that, that I'd rather be read out by um, anybody instead of me actually performing that. Working with Being Human was a, a great opportunity because they were actors and they were um, trained, they were professional actors. But it's the fact that they were delivering poems. They actually mentioned that they'd never worked on poems before. So it was finding the meaning in, in that and, and just, just treating it just like any other play. And it, it was just great because I, I'm a performance is what I do. I'm a, um, you know, a spoken word artist. So it's just finding how an actor who performs on a daily basis, where I sometimes write and keep that to myself, which is great to get their advice as well. And with Language Alive, that, that was great because what we actually did was we had us as older kids from 16 to 18, and we actually had younger kids from um, the ages of 8 to 10, and we were basically mentoring them. What, and it was so great because the workshop actually um, made us work with each, each other. And it was interesting at the end because I ended up learning something from my um, from the person I was a mentor actually because we all write differently, don't we? And we all use words differently. Um, and uh, thirdly, another person we worked with on the Future Poets Festival was Ben Paisley, who's a, a visual artist and is a, a designer. And he had designed um, a piece of architect for us known as the Thought Bubble which basically was um, a big um, circular um, object that was big enough for you to step in. Um, it, it had a bubble wrap all around it, and whilst you were in it, the colours would change, depending on the theme of the, of the poem, because um, audiences were given poems to read. And there would also be different sound effects, actually, to go with that um, poems. And that's what Bill Paisley done. It, it, it brought a different element into poetry. It, it just Instead of just, just the words, it, it really put it into a, a room, to an environment. And that, that was just great. It was great. Man. So what I found challenging during the process, I guess, was actually being asked to, to write about certain poetry, because usually I would just write for myself, and I would um, come up with my own topics. But Kim Trusty, who's a great tutor, 
and she just stuck on you, you know, because she was a teacher at the same time as well. And she, she really did believe in me, she really did want me to do my very best. So, it, yeah, it was just the read of writing for, for topics. But I guess what I've learned after that is that if I was to go into, if I was asked um, to write for a particular subject, for, I don't know, an article, or um, to, to sum up another, another festival, then I can do that now because I've had the experience. Because I, my poem is actually on the subject of, on the looting, on the riots that happened, occurred last year. And it was really close because I, I focused on the main topic, which is Mark Duggan, because that's how the riots um, uh, started. And I was performing in front of an audience at exactly the time in which they occurred last year. Um, which, and I think people had forgotten about that, so we're just making people remember. And it, it was just great, great to express that because I had a lot, I, had, I was very passionate about what I had. How I felt on stage, I actually, just before I went on stage, I thought to myself, I'm amongst um, these poets who have been um, performing for years now, who, who have a name, and nationally actually. So, and this is my first um, um, poet performance. So I could either show everybody that I'm new and kind of be shy, or I can act as if I've been doing it for years myself. And I chose the second option. And it was great. I, when I was on stage, I felt, I, I, I just felt as if, I don't know, I found something new about words. So all, all of a sudden, all these words just had more meaning to it. The spotlight was on me and everything just, just kind of, drifted away and I was in this moment when I was funny actually because at one moment I forgot some of my words and what I did actually was I asked the audience to um I said excuse me to the audience and I walked off stage I just I took a peek of my um uh, poetry and I went back and I, I um performed once again I carried on now it was interesting because after that the audience actually thought that that was a part of it and th that just shows how much I, I, not only was I in the moment but everyone else was in the moment as well Wow, now actually, after the whole um, public performances occurred, I actually feel overwhelmed because it, it was a great opportunity and I loved every single moment of it. During the actual day, it was just a, a big event with different activities um, happening and it was me and my Future Poets team, and we were running the whole event. Now, the um, for final performance in which we performed with um, the various artists, like Paul Bear, Musa, Akawanga. Actually, it's a bit noisy here, I don't know if you can hear me, but do you mind if we just go around so you know? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. That's better, it's a bit more quieter here. <laughs> um, okay, so, one thing I'm definitely going to take away from the whole experience and the whole opportunity is the power of words. That's so, something that I'll never forget about how I can set a scene, I can um, d d describe a feeling. That, um, just even with my general speech as well, I can, I can use um, d different words instead of my um, words I use on a normal daily basis. It's just interesting and it could change the dynamic, I guess. Um, and I guess the whole festival as a whole, it just it inspired me. The whole festival actually inspired me to actually push further now with my performance poetry and not just keep it to the minimum of maybe now I'm just on the microphone. Because working with being human, as I said, they actually put on a play as actors using poetry. And now some may say that that's like Shakespeare, I guess. But it was just out of the ordinary because they took poetry, which was meant to just be poetry, and they turned that into performance. So it's what I can do with that now, which I'm going to explore. Thank you.